Well, welcome to Cook's Lobster House. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, how to get there, and what kind of a place it is, and all the good things you might want to know about Bailey Island while you're going down to Cook's Lobster House for either a four-pound lobster or even just a lobster roll. It don't matter. It's all good. Well, you're going to take Route 24, often one. It's called the Cook's Corner Exit, so don't get confused. I know you our stages have an awful problem with your exits. But, if you take the Cook's Corner Exit, you go right to the street light, and then travel straight on through. You're going to go down about 13 miles on what they call Route 24. We're kind of growing up pretty quick around here, so we're giving our roads the name now. But once you get down towards the island there, you'll see the Cliffstone Bridge. It's a sight to behold. It's a one of a kind in the world, and uh, right now they're in the process of rebuilding it, so it's quite a to-do down there. Easy to cross over because they built another bridge. Those main engineers are something to behold. It's, it's incredible. But anyway, I'll get back on the subject. Once you cross over that one of a kind Cribstone Bridge, and it is one of a kind, you're going to see the Cook's Lobster House right off on the right hand side there. Can't miss it. Big, beautiful building. It's uh, surrounded by water on three sides and does give you a marvelous view. You can see the bridge right from every table down there in that front dining room. It's just amazing. They got inside near outside seating for you folks that don't want to sit inside on a beautiful day. It's truly amazing. They call that deck um, the Moby Deck. <laughs> you get it? But anyway, I'll continue. That Moby Deck is a beautiful place. You can smell that ocean come on in and see the wildlife going by. It's just beautiful. Oh, don't forget the lobstermen down there. We'll make sure to wave goodbye to them or hello as they're bringing in their catch down to Cook's Lobster House. Yeah, they bring in their lobsters right to Cook's Dock. It's a sight to behold, and you're welcome to come down and take a look at them and do their work. It's amazing. So, uh, well, I'll get back to Cook's. Cook's owned that peninsula down there, and they have an awful beautiful spot. Right down on the very point, they even have weddings or lobster bakes or just business functions for people of, uh, say, 50 or more. And it's beautiful. You can have a lobster and steam clams and corn on the cob and all that blueberry pie. they got the best blueberry pie in the world. Uh, don't tell my wife I told you that, but it's gorgeous and good. I'm going to tell you right now. So, uh, back to Cook's Lobster House. They have been amazing and serving their people for over 50 years. Their food is fresh, fresh, fresh. You can't get it any fresher than that. They're open year-round. They're just 40 minutes north of Portland, just 10 minutes south of Brunswick. They have one of their big old cruise boats that come in, and, uh, yeah, from the big city of Portland it does. But, anyway, you can get a nice two-hour cruise right off in Cook's Dock. It's truly amazing. They take you out around the island and show you wildlife, and it's just beautiful, beautiful time. And it brings you back in about two hours. And it leaves at 12, comes back at 2, at C1, 2. Yeah, that's two hours. Just an amazing trip. So after that, or before, you can have yourself a nice lunch. It's great. they got good service. they got some awful nice-looking people there that treat you well. So I'm telling you, you get a chance. You come on down to Cook's. It's on Bailey Island. Just a beautiful place to be. And I look forward to meeting you there. Yeah, they call me Potato Pete. So if you're down there, you just say, Where's Potato Pete? And I'll come running. I won't have no potatoes in my hand, but you know what? I will be there to greet you and to help you out. So hope to see you at 